What Edgy Tim, glad to be back here with you from the worldwide headquarters here in, well, some undisclosed location in uh, in the world of the state of Illinois, if you will, and welcome to day number 257 of the pandemic. Okay, hasn't been that long, just feels that long. Anyway, welcome aboard. Uh, I'm in a bright, sunny mood, that's why I've got my my bright and sunny Oregon hat today, just trying to pick up the juice and pick up the excitement and um, just a few thoughts for you as we, uh, about midweek here, uh, June 10th, actually my son's birthday, so it's a very, very special day here, certainly. Um, a few thoughts, well, in case you haven't noticed, um, recruiting has, I don't want to say it's gotten quieter, but it's kind of gotten a little quieter, a lot less offers going out. I think that certainly from the FBS level, offers are are out, uh, multiple offers are out, several kids have already committed, others continue to work towards that angle. Um, some of the coaches I've talked to at that level, kind of, kind of zeroing in more on their top of their recruiting list and Maybe getting a little bit more personal with uh, a little bit more in-depth Zoom meetings and virtual tours. Um, and really trying to build those relationships that normally would have been built up over the spring and over the summer, but for obvious reasons, has not happened. A lot of the same things going on uh, at the FCS level as well. And for both FBS and FCS, uh, you know, again, teams are reporting back for summer workouts. And even though the coaches are limited in, in the kind of contact they can have with their teams and their players, I think a lot of the focus, certainly it, maybe not all of the focus, but a lot of the focus this week and probably going on the next several weeks here will be more either working for game prep for these coaches and or still recruiting, but more of a, you know, a selected group of kids that they're going to be working with and on recruiting wise as well as let's face it um i would imagine especially at the fbs level uh, I, i'm not sure what the vacation plans were for these staffs if they've been scratched and they've already taken those time my understanding some of the staffs that i've talked to basically haven't changed that so you will see some staffs probably hit some vacation time here at this uh, time of the year but again everyone kind of handling things different certainly in this different time for sure um so, so that's kind of what's going on. Um, if you didn't get a chance to listen to the 20-minute uh, podcast with Jeff Thorne I, that I put out for free, earlier today it was out uh, on the Edgy Nation side, as always, first a day ago. Um, give it a listen, especially if you're a parent um, of a prospect, someone going through the recruiting process, or someone that maybe someday soon you will be going through the recruiting process. Jeff talks a little bit about you know, the impact, I wanted to talk to him about the impact of no North Central College camps this summer, which has just become such a huge camp in the Chicagoland area. Three days, and as Jeff alluded to in the interview, four days were planned of uh, the North Central camp to kind of spread things out. And utter shame, unfortunately, that got canceled and uh, certainly a big impact on recruiting. Uh, Jeff also gives some pretty good tips for you regarding maybe what you and your student athletes should be focusing on right now and some tips to maybe get seen in a, in a time where no one's really getting seen at all. Um, I find it up. Oh, it's my agent calling. <laughs> so we'll put an end to that right away. Um, no, I'm not taking any calls. So anyway, um, so that's kind of what's been going out recruiting. If you've noticed from my standpoint, um, a lot of rankings, class of 21, 22, 23. And really what's, what's led up to that is just the fact that, um, I'm not running off to camps. I have more time on my hands and I'm trying to make the most of that. Um, trying to push out as much of this as you can. And I'll be the first one when it comes to the 2022, 20, 23 class in particular, there's some really strong positions and there's some really weak positions. And you notice a few of the few of those position groups in 22, 23 are listed as a top five. I might have only three or four. The reasoning for that, 
I'm going to be very straightforward and honest. Um, I do not rank kids that I either do not see or kids that have not made the varsity level yet. And in a lot of those cases, I'm thinking defensive line in particular. Um, it Kids just aren't ready to get ranked yet. A lot of those kids are up and coming. Kids that really haven't got a chance to show what they could do consistently on the varsity level. That will change as we progress. Certainly more names will be added from those positions. I will continue to visit that. Um, but again, I don't rank every kid that talks to me. I don't rank kids just because they fit a certain profile. I, you got to play. And 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 that's, that's how you end up in rankings, whether you agree or don't disagree. And also, very important, it has to be at the varsity level. Um, I mean, sophomore year tape is great. I'll watch a little bit of it. As I said, a little bit of it. Um, freshman year tape, I mean, a little bit. But, I mean, there have been kids that have come through. There's been the rare exception. J.J. McCarthy was a kid that was a rare exception that I saw throw in person as a freshman. And the fact that I got to see him in person and evaluate in person I will do that for any kid, uh, whether they fit the varsity level or not, if I see them in person. Otherwise, I don't list kids that haven't seen the varsity level yet. Uh, to my, it's just my personal feeling. I'm sure it's looked at as old school and, you know, um, how dare you. Um, it's just how I operate. I, I think kids have to get to a certain level. And it's been said many times, and I'll reiterate it, if, if, if you're going to be a truly a high-level recruit, you better be the best damn player on the field at all times for your team. Um, and so that those are kind of the bellwether things that I look for. Um, also, I would say 99% of the kids on, the, on these lists are high school or college coach recommended players. I do not scroll through various video services and cherry pick kids without getting a thumbs up from high school coaches. And that's something you need to remember as well. I... Uh, I value high school coaches. I talk to them regularly every single day. I am absolutely proud and honored to have such great repu uh, great just rapport with so many coaches in this state. And I trust them more than anyone when it comes to this process. They are the ones that know their kids better than anybody, well, besides parents, that know their kids better than anybody. And I, those are the ones that I trust. And um, there are other services that will list kids and – if I don't get a thumbs up from a high school coach, that could be one of the reasons why that kid has not been listed and or ranked. So there you go. Got that cleared up. Um, let's dive into a little bit what lies ahead. Um, continue to check out the uh, Edgy Nation side. By the way, for those of you who have subscribed and taken advantage of this uh, extended deal, thank you. Um, welcome aboard. I hope you're enjoying your visit. Um, again, as I, I try to get as many email welcomes out to as many of you as I can, um, if you ever have questions, whether it's a content question, recruiting question, any kind of question, how to use the site. Um, I, one of these days I'm going to put a video, a, a video guide user of things you should look into because as a subscriber, I'll tell you right now, um, one of the many benefits of being on this network and being a, uh, a, a edgy nation or a premium subscriber, access to the entire network. Um, we have full coverage in the Big Ten I mean, SEC, ACC, we have literally an entire nationwide network of college sites that cover the crap out of recruiting. Um, those in turn see stories that I write regarding kids that those schools are recruiting. So you talk about exposure, no one, and I'm telling you no one, offers the kind, of, the kind of exposure that kids are looking for and, and, and seeking for in the recruiting process. Again, one of the huge advantage. Plus, as a premium, as a premium subscriber, you get access to every single premium story on those sites as well. So, I mean, you can just go for days and days and days and days uh, reading and, and and really keeping track. If you have a favorite team or two, hit them up. We've got some amazing publishers on this network that do an unbelievable job, and and I follow them all the time. And you'll notice sometimes I will filter some of those stories over to my site, and uh, they do that. Uh, with my stories as well, and I, and again, just another one of the many reasons of being uh, uh, the benefits of being on this network. So again, thank you for subscribing. Um, 
I want to do more Zoom stuff. Uh, I'm in the process of lining some things up, and I got a couple of things up my sleeve too. I got a couple of different angles that uh, I think could work pretty well in that format. So stay tuned. And again, we're under 80 days to kick off. So are we going to kick off on time? I don't know. No one knows. Um, I'm taking it as a positive that teams have been allowed to start conditioning. I know a lot of them haven't yet because what we kind of didn't talk about was local school districts still have to approve letting those kids back in and letting them use the facilities. That is a, that is a work in progress. I noticed today being Wednesday, some kids are already back. More are going to continue this week and probably into early ne next week as well. So we are slowly crawling, and trust me, it is crawling back to normalcy. Not there yet, certainly still a ways to go, but uh, hey, at this point, we're going to take any positive we can to return to high school football. Um, other things coming up, again, more podcasts. I will continue to uh, update, revise, rankings, uh, watch list. Um, going to get back into the evaluations as well. Go on the premium board and, and look at the evaluation list. I have quite a few for 2021, some for 22, and I am going to pick things up with 22 and even some 23s as well. So um, more, more, more. Content's going to continue to come your way. Um, just having fun and, and trying to stay positive and, and keep you busy, give you plenty to read. And, and again, I'm up to 72 early team previews. The goal is to continue to break out a couple every day. Uh, and as I mentioned, I want to run a couple every day from now leading up to kickoff. So statewide from everywhere, again, thank you, high school coaches. Um, a ton of information from you, which again, uh, my goal is to get every single thing out as uh, quickly and as, as much as I can to you. And it always starts on the Edgy Nation side. Yeah, eventually I will trickle some things out for free, but I really want you guys to get your money's worth. That's why you're here, and, and that's why I appreciate you being here. So you come first. You always have. You always will. One other thing we're going we're gonna to dive into just a little bit here, the free board. Um, I mean, I've, I've kind of made it known for a while now that, I, uh, that eventually I think the free board's going to go away. I have not made any type of final decision on it. Um, I just know the closer we get to November, the less and less patience I have with monitoring the free board and the whole political talk. Um, I've been criticized. I've, take, I've, I've taken pot shots from former posters, current posters. Um, you know, if I delete this, I favor this side. If I delete that, I favor that side. It, it's gotten ridiculous. And um, after 25 years, it's getting to the point where it's really not worth it being a babysitter tied to, say, football, because the main point of this is being every single area and subject now spins into politics. And this site was created as a haven to get away from all of it, to deal with high school football, to appreciate and love high school football. I don't want to debate politics with anybody. I, I honestly don't care anymore. I mean, I care, but I, I just, I'm, I'm tired of political talk. I really am. Um, you have your views. I have my views. I'm a registered voter. I've voted in literally every election since I've been 18 years old. If you can't tell, that's been a while. Um, and again, there's a couple of things I, I really just don't talk about. Religion and politics are the two. And I, got, I was taught by that by my old man, and, and it's something that I believe to this day. Um, you know, everyone has their beliefs, and that's great. But uh, I don't want them on my football, high school football message board. And that's, a, that's the bottom line. And if you want to continue to spin political talk, that's fine. Go to Facebook or Twitter or anywhere else you want to do it. And, and go at it. Hey, you're more than welcome to. Um, but, nah, it's not going to happen on my football board. So, again, um, We'll see where things go. Uh, I'm trying to be open-minded, but I'm telling you right now, the patience level is about not not a whole lot left. I'm sure you understand. If you've been around here for a while, you understand. So uh, stay tuned. I will continue to update the status of that board, but I just got a feeling the closer we get to November, the sooner that's going to go away. So thanks, everybody. Have a great week, a great weekend, and check back. I'll have more updates coming your way.